Bronx County has the second highest number of domestic violence cases in the city after Kings County. CBS 2 shows Pedrosian has an in-depth look at the impact it's having on communities and the organizations taking matters into their own hands. We have in a week in the Bronx, two children that are no longer here because of some sort of violence. In the span of just two days, three-month-old Genevieve Comager and six-year-old Jalea Eason were found lifeless in the Bronx. Both little girls victims at the hands of their parents, according to prosecutors. They say Genevieve was shaken to death by her father, while Jalea was found bruised and unresponsive in her mother's apartment. Just breaks your heart that any parent would, you know, resort to that level. While both tragedies have shaken Bronx communities. Numbers show incidents like these are all too common. Data shows the Bronx had the highest amount of domestic violence homicides than any other borough from 2010 to 2020. With high rates of violence in homes in the Bronx, community organizations are responding to the demands. So in order to address the trauma, we want them to feel comfortable. Trauma therapy programs like Changing Futures at Kingsbridge Heights Community Center offers non-traditional approaches through art and gardening. They say they treat about 200 children between the ages of 3 to 18 every month. Obviously, they've been through something um, that maybe some of their peers haven't. So learning skills to address any triggers, but really the goal is for them to be children. Catherine Mickey took is the director and says the program is free long term treatment for any kids in the community. Meanwhile, in Mont Haven, Barrier Free Living is a domestic violence organization for people with disabilities. With the demand so high, Barrier Free Living also assists survivors relocate into permanent housing. They offer occupational therapy and programming for children, too. So we can't assist a, fa a family with just one perspective. We need to, to assist the entire family. Both programs say to help those who endure violence, there needs to be more access and knowledge of the resources that exist in the community. We have to make the system more simple and straightforward. Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson says her office is adamant about addressing the influx and in incidents with organizations. She says help exists in the borough, but the stigma around getting help needs to change in order for families to seek it out. Never feel that you have no options because there's always a choice. In the Bronx, Shosh Pedrosian, CBS 2 News.